Good morning, all. Marcus here, back again with another video, back again with another Oculus Quest video. This video is in VR 180, so if you have this on your mobile phone or tablet, you can move around and look in every single direction, check out this space. But even better still, watch this in YouTube VR on your Oculus Quest or your Oculus Go. It'll be in 3D, it'll be like you're sat there watching this with me in person in 3D, so you can always reach out and touch me. Now, don't, that's a a little bit weird, but it's a very cool format, so do check it out. But what we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna be checking out Hand Physics Lab on the Oculus Quest. It's side loadable, so it's not available by default, because there isn't very much use for hand tracking in Oculus Quest bar just kind of men menu navigation. Once you get into pretty much everything, you do need to pick up your controllers and play like normal. So it is kind of cool to do, it works very well. You can't move very fast, it's a little bit of a sponginess to it, but it works quite well for the most part. Uh, we pinch the little menu options, we'll go into some of my side-loaded stuff, little drop down here, Let's scroll up, click on there, and there we go, Hand Physics Lab, we'll click on that and boot it up. So, as I said, this is available via SideQuest. Um, I do kind of think that the hand sort of tracking and stuff is going to be best when uh, they bring it out for the Oculus Go 2. Imagine that, hands-free Oculus Go. Can be three'd off, can have a little bit of six'd off maybe. Um, be primarily focused on kind of media and stuff, but just using your hands to control stuff. I think it would be pretty cool. And it's something I imagine they'll end up doing. So let's reset the view there and then click start. So we can see our hands. They're already kind of these little axes things. Having a slight, make sure they're in sight, avoid touching each other. So you kind of have to keep your hands in front of you the entire time, but sit up nice and straight. Get good use of them. Ooh, look, these spongy looking hands. Uh, yeah, if we've got any bugs, we've just got to report them. Make sure you do. If you do do this and you give it a go, make sure you do let people know about it. But look at these hands already. They are pretty cool. The hand tracking, I would say, it feels like you've got like a hand kind of stuck underneath you and it's following, if you know what I mean. So it's not like one-to-one -one movement. You move too fast, it loses tracking. But for the most part, it's pretty cool and works really well. Just gotta kind of be sort of methodical, hence why it can't, can't be used as it is for gaming, that sort of thing. Because I guess if they had some sort of proper depth sensing going on, at the moment they use a sort of stereoscopic, I guess, to determine what the depth is, they have some depth sen sensing sensors, it could be pretty cool. So look, we've got some actions here to make a, a skeleton hand and a normal hand if you want to. Just a little flick of the switch up here. Uh, transparent skin, yeah, let's keep that on. We can give ourselves some arms, which are a bit weird, but funny enough, in the arcade, quite often you get kids freaked out that they can't see their hands or their arms, so that should work well. Let's see, look, I couldn't see my hand then, so it went a bit weird. Telekinesis, so I can sort of move things with my mind. Gravity, so things float. Safety is like, um, a bit like there, where we lost tracking, the hands kind of stay in place rather than freaking out. Axes kind of adds the little sort of arrows and stuff so you know kind of which points bits are facing and um, let's turn that off so you click and then status is kind of like a, a debug type thing little settings on there but let's click on grabbing so there's a bunch of sort of different sort of test type stuff you can just play with so here's a hammer we can just grab it as if we had a real hammer on our hands and start hammering away at stuff that's not really much to break apart with that sort of thing but here's a rubber ducky i kind of feel like he should squeak Squeak, squeak, no, no squeaky duck. Maybe they can add squeaking in another update. Squeak, squeak, I want, I want a squeaky duck. Actually look, if we press this, and let's grab the crowbar, we can smash it. And then we can pick up the individual pieces, I believe, if I can get it from underneath everything. I would say sometimes the tracking, I'm picking stuff up, isn't it? It's almost a, an art in itself to just get it just right. But it is pretty cool. So we can pick up a big rock, Oh, that bouncing rock. And could we pick up this rock? No. Can I get that rock with just one hand? Oh no, it doesn't like me face my hand that way. Uh, da, 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 and smash. <laughs> All right, let's try building. Oh, you're not tracking my hands properly. There we go. Building, there we go. So now we've got some kiddie blocks and the whole thing fell down as soon as I touched it. But you can sort of see here, you can sort of choose which color of everything you want to kind of spawn and then you press a button and you got it and you can make yourself a little tower as if you're three years old and build things up. It's a little bit hard to 
to precisely do it because the tracking is not like 100% accurate. It's more kind of a, a, a test of patience than anything else. But it's a fun little sort of thing to play with. It's the sort of thing as well, I guess, that if they get, gather data on it, they, they can probably make it better and better as time goes on. Oh, look, it's pushing your hands on the table. Whoop. Break my hands. Let's try the next one, drawing. Oh, you lost my hand again. There's my hand. And drawing. There we go. Got a nice little canvas here. I think this is to kind of clean ourselves. And then you put your finger in the, in the paint. And on the canvas, you can draw something. Whatever you want to draw, I'm drawing, I don't know what I'm drawing. I'm drawing, what do you think this is? What do we think it is? Let's have some guesses in the, in chat. <laughs> uh, la, 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 la. You can kind of put all your different fingers in and then just go like this. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. It's quite, it works quite well as well and doesn't kind of push through the canvas. So wherever you kind of go, it always stops. Uh, and we can kind of clean ourselves off with the water. And I've got myself, my hands stuck in the water. Oh, I'm, I'm deleting stuff. Oh, I'm using this as a, an eraser. Is that what's happening? Or do I just tip that on? Can we clean this other hand in there? Take, put it inside the cup. There we go, we've got no paint on us. Because what I do find is if you start doing the next one, egg painting, you can automatically have paint on your hands and start painting on things. So here we can pick up some eggs. Oh, either drop them in or, oh, I'll drop that one. Uh, or just dip your fingers in and start sort of coloring them that way. Or you can kind of dip it half and half, a bit, little bit of green. Or we can click this little button on here. Uh, it's probably easier if I kind of click it with this finger. Click, turn on the little sort of blue ray, grab ourselves an egg put it in there and it spins around and then you can just kind of like touch and then it'll spin around for you to kind of paint things a little bit easier if you want to. I wonder what happens if we stop it halfway through. It just turns off and drops to the floor. So that's kind of cool. Once again, somewhere to kind of just wash your hands. Uh, I once again got it stuck on my hand. Oh, there it goes. Uh, what's next? Typing. No, I hit the wrong thing. That's definitely not typing. And we've got ourselves a keyboard, PC, and I've just knocked the monitor over. And come back over here. Monitor. Oh, oh, oh. Stop still. Yep, stop. 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 It's kind of, kind of physics. <laughs> Which are so real, it's kind of annoying. So, let's try. Hello world. Hello. Space. World, nowhere close. There we go. We can get our fingers stuck inside the keyboard. Oh yeah, yeah well, like that, like that, like that. But that's a fun little sort of experiment. That's something I guess over time will get better and better. I don't know whether the keys need to be bigger or more raised, or I don't know. Or is it just the hand tracking would make it better? Oh, we've still got a gold thumb. Look. Um, let's try fighting. So we've got ourselves a dummy, so boop, and boop, boop, boop. We can get ourselves a knife, stab him in the head, stab him in the stomach, uh, get a dumbbell. Oh, I clearly haven't been to the gym in a while, so I need, I need my dumbbell weights. Here we go. And give him a thump with that. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. Can I give you a cuddle? Ah, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. There you go, let's take those out for you. And it. Let's <laughs> try the next one, we've done fighting, so force, push. We need to kind of make a fist, grab it, and then, and skadoosh. Oh no, it didn't work. And skadoosh. Oh, 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 it lost track of my hand. Uh, that, some of the hand tracking sort of issues might be my lighting. Maybe we've got too strong a lights <laughs> to, to make it work properly. Oh, that's not working, is it? Uh, I want to throw some balls. Let me throw some balls. Whew. Gonna throw them up. Oh, just on my head. I want that one ball. Whoa. I'm not very good at sort of throwing them at these people. Oh, I hit him. There we go. Uh, what else we have? Hand slicing. This is a little surreal one, this is. It's a very weird one. So you get this laser light. You put your hand through it. You can actually sort of cut your hand off. So you still got your arm and your hand is still 
moving as if it's attached to your hand. Da -da 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 ah, my hand. <laughs> Which is very weird. So you can cut your hand off. You can even grab it and still move it around when you've grabbed your hand. That's just weird. You can cut both hands off. You can have a little race. Uh, creepy and the kooky, the crazy and the spooky. Where you go, hand? And uh, the yeah, Adams family. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, so it's a little bit weird how chopping your own hand off. Can I hold on to it and chop them? Oh, oh I, like, I can grab it and still hold it. Oh no, I've got it. No, oh, no. You get, you end up kind of forgetting where your hand is and pulling your hands out of the sight of the the cameras because because <laughs> you're so disconnected from your hands. Uh, whilst we've got useless machine. Oh, this is one of those things like you get your little point finger, flick the switch, and it just turns it. It closes the box over and over again. But I think you can kind of just hold the the lid down. Nope, nope. Hold the lid down, and look, you can't come out. <laughs> he must be annoyed in there. Ah, oh, no, he's not. Can we can we can we catch him on the other way out? Oh 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 yeah, look, we got him. Look, can I grab him? Oh, can I, oh, I can actually just stop him with my finger. That's kind of fun, just have a little play with that. Uh, puppet. I think I'm lost, I wanna go back to the ho to Holoception. So you grab him and wiggle him around. <laughs> He's very smart, very cool. You just grab him by different bits, pulling him apart, pushing him in different directions. It's very clever. It's almost kind of weird, because you end up sort of forgetting that you're in VR. It ends up kind of, uh, just kind of being very normal feeling. There was a, I was watching that, was it um, Magic for Humans on Netflix the other day? And they were doing a sort of thing where they had sort of fake arms and real arms next to people. And they were doing things to the fake arms and people were feeling the cold, feeling stuff. Or they were like touching cold things on their real arm and they didn't feel it because they couldn't see it. Which kind of goes to show that you don't really use all of your senses. Your brain kind of makes up a lot of it, whatever it thinks is right. Um, so this kind of, almost feels like you're grabbing him. You can almost feel like you've got him in your hand, but you clearly don't, because there's nothing in your hand. But it's but it, but, you, but it's tricking enough of your senses that you kind of, if you give into it, kind of feel it. Come back here, you. Wow. Bye. <laughs> so there you go, there's all sorts of good stuff in here to play with. Oh, my painting's still there. So I do recommend giving this a go, give and check out some of those side quests sort of tutorials. Um, I think my one's still, for the most part, valid. I might update it if you guys need it. Um, but it's pretty cool, worth sort of playing around with and definitely worth kind of giving proper, proper hand tracking a go because, as I say, sort of by default, there's not much to it. So actually being able to sort of uh, do a little bit of hand tracking in VR and actually do something with it other than just menu selections it's pretty cool. So let me know in the comments down below what you think about this. Have you tried it? How do you see sort of hand tracking coming in the future? As I say, I think sort of Oculus Go 2 with hand tracking and stuff, it seems like a no-brainer. A version of the Oculus Quest um, with just hand tracking, no controllers, maybe 100 quid cheaper, $100 cheaper. I don't know. Would you buy that? Let me know in the comments down below. But let me know what you think. So give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't, that's fine. I'm big enough and ugly enough to take it. Uh, but do let me know in the comments down below why you didn't like it, I'll try and do better for next time. Become one of the remarkles, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified when I next upload a video. And that's me done, I'm out. Have a virtual VR 180 high five. <laughs>